all right you are welcome again today we want to talk about solution of ordinary differential equation that is to say how to solve ordinary differential equation okay now you know ordinary differential equation comes in different forms you get it and then you are going to consider standard method of solving differential equation that comes in different types some of these include direct integration variable separable homogeneous differential equations linear differential equations exact differential equation non homogeneous reducible to homogeneous okay so these are the different forms of ordinary differential equation but we are going to consider standard methods to use in solving these differential equation so the first one is variable separable that is variables or differential equation which can be separated okay now let's go we say that if a differential equation can be written in this form f of y dy is equal to f of x dx so when we have a differential equation and we can separate it in such a way that f of y dy the function y dy is in one side and q of x dx is in one side so we say that uh, this function or this equation is separable that is y on the left hand side and x on the right hand side so we we'll get the solution by integrating both sides. Okay? So we say variable separation. That is separation of variables. When the uh, differential equation can be separated, the y by the left, the x by the right. Okay? So we say that we can use the method of variable separable to solve this by integrating both sides. Now, let's take some few examples for you to understand properly what I'm talking about, okay? Now, let's take a look at this. Solve the following differential equations. Number one, x plus one, dy dx, is equal to x, y squared plus one, in bracket. And then number two, one plus x, in bracket, y dx, plus one minus y, in bracket, x, dy equal to zero okay please pay attention as we solve this we are going to solve this equation this ordinary differential equation using separation of variables okay now let's go number one we have x plus one in bracket dy dx is equal to x in bracket y squared plus one now, from this place, uh, we want to separate these variables. So, the first thing we do, we multiply both sides by the x. Let us multiply both sides by the x. So, when we do so, we're going to have x plus 1 in bracket dy dx multiplied by dx equal to x upper bracket y squared plus 1 close it multiply by dx. So when we multiply, you know, this dx, we cancel the dx in the denominator, right? So here, we are going to be left with x plus 1 in bracket dy equal to x upper bracket y squared plus 1 plus dx. Okay, good. So here, the next thing we are going to do is to separate the variables. You know, as it is, in the left hand side, we have x and y. And then in the right hand side, we have still x and y. So here the variables are mixed. So here we want to separate. Now, in the left hand side, we only want y to be there. Okay? So that means we are going to eliminate x plus 1. So for us to remove x plus 1 from the left hand side, we are going to divide both sides. The left hand side and the right hand side, we are going to divide it by x plus 1 and then when we go to the right hand side we only want x to be there 
and then here we have y square plus 1 attached to it so we want to eliminate this y square plus 1 we want to remove this y square plus 1 so we are going to divide both sides also by y square plus 1 so for us to do this let's do it together okay so doing it together that means we're going to divide both sides by x plus 1 in bracket y square plus 1 Okay, now let's do it. We're going to have x plus 1 in bracket dy all over x plus 1 in bracket y square plus 1 in bracket equal to x of bracket y square plus 1 close dx all over s plus 1 in bracket y squared plus 1. Okay, good. Okay, in the left hand side, x plus 1, we cancel x plus 1 in the denominator. All right, and then in our right hand side y square plus one in the numerator we cancel y square plus one in the denominator so after the cancellation we are going to be left with dy all over y square plus one equal to x dx all over x plus one is that true yes now let's write this properly we are going to have one all over y square plus one dy equal to x all over x plus 1 in bracket dx okay good now from this place i think we can integrate both sides we can go ahead and um, integrate both sides but in our right hand side we'll have a little problem so x all over x plus 1 is still a little bit complex so let's break this down okay so for us to break this down we're going to use uh, partial fraction decomposition on the right hand side where we have x all over x plus one for us to break this down further okay so breaking it down further we help us to solve this you get it right now using partial fraction decomposition to break it down we are going to have x all over x plus one is going to be reduced to one minus one all over x plus one all in bracket Please, if you don't understand this properly, okay, please, we have video on partial fraction decomposition, how to decompose. Any partial fraction, uh, we treat different methods, okay, to use in partial fraction decomposition. Please, you can go to our playlist and search for polynomials, partial fraction decomposition and others, okay? Now, let's go. So, when we use partial fraction decomposition on x all over x plus 1 is going to be reduced to 1 minus 1 all over x plus 1 okay good so here we have 1 all over y square plus 1 in bracket dy equal to 1 minus 1 all over x plus 1 all in bracket dx right good let's integrate both sides so integrating both are going to have the integral of 1 all over y square plus 1 dy equal to the integral of 1 minus 1 all over x plus 1 all in bracket dx. Okay, good. Now, in the right hand side, let's still do something there. That means we're going to have the integral of 1 dx minus the integral of 1 all over x plus 1 dx okay so this place we have the integral of 1 dx 1 times dx is the same thing as dx so we're going to have the integral of dx okay good now we have the integral of 1 all over y square plus 1 dy in the left hand side and in the right hand side we have the integral of dx minus the integral of 1 all over x plus 1 dx okay so when we integrate the left hand side we are going to have the tan inverse of y so the integral of 1 all over y square plus 1 dy is going to give us tan inverse of y okay equal to in the right hand side when we integrate dx it's going to give us x and when we integrate 1 all over x plus 1 with respect to x it's going to give us lean 1 plus x plus c you know we have minus in between the integral of dx 
and uh, the integral of 1 all over x plus 1 dx okay good so after the integration here we have x minus ln 1 plus x in bracket plus c so here now we have tan inverse of y is equal to x minus ln 1 plus x in bracket plus c okay good now we want to make y the subject now we still have tan inverse associated with y so you know this tan inverse of y can be written as 1 all over tan times y is it true yes tan inverse 1 all over tan times y equal to we have x minus ln 1 plus x in bracket plus c so let's multiply both side by tan we're going to have uh, 1 all over tan times y times tan equal to tan multiplied by we have x minus ln 1 plus x in bracket plus c okay so when we solve the left hand side we're going to have y okay and then we have equal to tan open bracket x minus ln of 1 plus x in bracket plus c okay so as we integrate and solve this we found out that the solution of the differential equation x plus 1 dy dx equal to x in bracket y squared plus 1 the solution is y is equal to tan of x minus ln 1 plus x in bracket plus c all right yes now let's take the second example the second example says 1 plus x in bracket y dx plus 1 minus y in bracket x dy equal to 0. Now, let's separate these variables. You know, we want uh, y to be by the left hand side and x to be by the right hand side. So let's take one of these terms to the other side. Uh, let's take uh, 1 plus x, y dx, to the right hand side. So crossing the sign of inequality, it will change to negative, okay? So that means we're going to have 1 minus y in bracket x dy is equal to minus 1 plus x in bracket y dx, okay? We took this 1 plus x in bracket y dx to the other side. All right. So therefore, it changes to negative, right? Good. Now, let's bring this y in front. That means we're going to have minus y, open bracket, 1 plus x, close the bracket, dx. I think it's okay this way, right? Good. Now, we want to separate these variables properly because as it is now, the variables are still mixed in the right hand side and in the left hand side okay so in the left hand side where we have one minus y in bracket x dy so here we want to remove x so that y and its associate will be in this left hand side so for us to remove this x that means we divide both sides by x and then going to the right hand side we only want x to be there so that means we're going to remove this minus y okay good for us to remove this minus y that means we divide both sides by minus y so doing this or performing this operation together we are going to divide both sides by minus y x okay so dividing both sides by minus y x we remove the x in the left hand side and remove minus y in the right hand side so now let's do it we're going to have one minus y in bracket x dy all over minus y x equal to in the right hand side minus y open bracket one plus x close the bracket dx all over minus y x so here in the left hand side x in the numerator we cancel x in the denominator and in our right hand side minus y in the numerator we cancel minus y in the denominator 
okay good so here now we'll be left with one minus y all over minus y dy in the left hand side equal to in the right hand side we have one plus x all over x dx is that true yes now pay attention again closely here we have, we have one minus y all over minus y it can be written as one all over minus y minus y all over minus y dy and then in the right hand side it can also be written as one all over x plus x all over x dx okay good so this place where we have minus y all over minus y so this minus minus we cancel and we give you positive so y all over y or the y divided by y is going to give you one so here we're going to have one and then we have one all over minus y so arranging this properly is going to give you one minus one all over y i think it's clear right good here we have uh, y divided by y is going to give you one and then minus minus plus so we bring it to the front of this one all over minus y so thereby it's giving us one minus one all over y in bracket dy equal to also in the right hand side we have one all over x plus x all over x so x all over x is equal to one you get it right let's put it in bracket and then we have dx so here we can integrate both sides okay so when we integrate both sides, it's going to give us the integral of one minus one all over y in bracket dy equal to the integral of one all over x plus one in bracket dx now let's uh split this very well let's this uh, let's pass the integral sign into the bracket so when we pass it into the bracket we're going to have the integral of 1 dy minus the integral of 1 all over y dy equal to the integral of 1 all over x dx plus the integral of 1 dx okay so here when we say the integral of 1 dy is the same thing as saying 1 times dy is going to give us what dy so here we have the integral of dy minus the integral of 1 all over y dy equal to the integral of 1 all over x dx plus here we will have the integral of 1 dx 1 times dx is equal to dx so we're going to have the integral of dx okay so when we integrate dy it's going to give us y then we have minus the integral of 1 all over y dy is going to give us ln y equal to the integral of 1 all over x is equal to ln x plus the integral of dx is going to give us x plus c. Is that clear? Yes. Now let's make y the subject. Making y the subject, that means we'll take minus ln y to the other side. So when we do so, we're going to have y is equal to lin x plus lin y plus x plus c okay yes so therefore the solution to the ordinary differential equation one plus x in bracket y dx plus one minus y in bracket x dy equal to zero is giving us y is equal to lin x plus lin y plus x plus c all right yes thank you very much for watching please if you are new to our youtube channel please subscribe like and share our videos let's take more examples as we all learn together yes